Now just take your time when you take these valances off because not all are created equal. I looked up there, I was real careful with it, and I saw, I saw how these how these came off. It's just a little plastic deal at the top and I just kind of lifted it back a little bit to unclip it because there's a, uh, a, a, a groove on the inside and so I just had to do that in four spots. So now I don't have that, the balance, I call that a balance cover, the trim piece, okay? And uh, so now I got to be careful with that and, and I looked at these, remember, remember uh, I saw those, those were those were uh, tight up against the wall and there's a little bracket underneath there. I take a little screwdriver, undo the screw, and then I can at least move that back and forth. So, so that way it'll give me just a little bit of extra room to get on the back side of that to get my paintbrush in there. Okay, but like I said, I'm not going to take this all down. I'm just going to paint around that, uh, the whole blind, and leave the blind in place. There's not much paint having to do here. I can I can do that with a little mini roller. I can be real careful with that and then I'll and then it's all about cut in with the cut in brush anyways. You see what I mean? And um, way easier than trying to paint around this trim and not get around it and and have it be in your way and that kind of stuff. So what what am I trying to tell you? Just spend some time. Look at things and see how they come apart. Don't just get up there and think, oh yeah, I know, I know how this one came, came, came apart. It comes off just like the other one, I'm sure. And you start jerking on it and you, you crack it. Or you break one of the little clips and you're like, oh brother, now what? I knew I shouldn't have done that. I should have just painted around that. Video Joe keeps trying to, trying to throw a monkey wrench in stuff, telling me to do this, that, and the other thing. But now I kind of see why he's telling me to do that because I just broke something or I just painted around something and I didn't get all the way up in there and then I got paint on the inside of the valance trim I got paint on that I got paint on the side of the of the um, the door casing because it's a stained oak uh, trim that goes all the way around there I see now I see why He wanted me to take that off. Maybe, maybe sometime down the road, they take this one off and they install something different. When they take the balance cover off, guess what? Uh, you might have changed colors on the wall and right where the balance trim is vertical right there, they take that off and they see that uh, it used to be a, 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 tan, a, a, a gray wall and the new paint is the... Uh, the Navajo white color. Now, now, whoever's doing it, they don't know where the touch-up paint is. Uh, who left the paint? Who left the paints? Where? When? And is it at the job site? Is it in somebody's garage? How old is it? Did somebody use it for a different job? And now you've got um, your your other valance doesn't fit exactly where this one goes, and it's up a little higher. And you see all this kind of stuff, and you're all done. And, and, and the owner doesn't want to pay you and tell, hey, you told me you weren't going to be messing with my wall. Now I can see where the paint color is. What? You know, you don't have to mess with any of that now, do you? We just paint this um, with the balance off. And then I can, I can carefully put it back on because I know, I know how I took it off. You see what I mean? So everything has its purpose for sure. As for this, here's one more thing to consider, and I, I think I touched on it earlier. You're working in a condo. Chances are you've got a tenant separation wall between you and the next condo. You've got somebody up above you. If you're on the first floor, you've got somebody up on the, on the second floor. You've got somebody on the other side of this wall. You've got somebody on the other side of that wall. So if you're going to start banging around, kind of like how I was doing, trying to find those nails, you know, the little puckers that were, were coming up, you might want to do that. Make sure maybe that's one of the first things you do, depending what time it is. Thinking, oh yeah, I got all night. I'm going to be I'm going to be painting up a storm all night. Well, you don't want to get to that point and then having to start tapping on the wall here and over there and over here and over there, um, and then have other vacationers start complaining. And then you get a call from the office. You get a call from 
from the person that you're doing the work for. Hey, you can't be doing that. People are getting pissed off and and uh, such. So just be mindful of stuff like that. And, um, you know, if you want to work all night, you can work all night on a painting job because most of the time you're not going to be making much noise. The only time you're going to be making noise is like like I was showing you with the, with the hammer and the putty knife, okay? Be mindful of that. Now, if you watch my, my initial preview of this entire project, you, I, would have, I was telling you I thought I could get this done in two days, two and a half days. Well, I talked to Michelle, and, and she said she actually is going to have the cleaner come on Monday instead of Sunday, um, which gives me an, an, an additional day if I need it. That was nice of her, right? She, it's not like she's got... She, if she had a guest... Uh, scheduled to come in on Monday morning or Monday after uh, 3 o'clock to check in or afternoon or whatever um, then obviously the cleaner would have to come in here on Sunday and, and that but it gives me a little bit more time because I you know every time I turn around I see something else I should do and, and something else that needs to be moved something else that needs to be patched something else that needs to be caulked and, and so forth and so on and when I get all done I have I know that whatever I take off the walls I got to put back together I got to put the beds the bed back together I got to put the whole bedroom back together I got to install the doors back on their uh, the door jams I've got to put the glass closet doors back up and and do do something presentable at least a little bit do a little bit of sweeping up the cleaners are going to come and do stuff but the stuff that I've scraped down on, on the floor and stuff I'll, I'll uh, I'll probably go ahead and you know wipe some of this stuff up I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have a cleaner just uh, see uh, scrapings of stuff down on the floor and stuff I'll still I'll still do a, uh, as good a job as I can but it gives me an, an extra day so you you've got to decide what your schedule is if you only have two days maybe some of these things that I pointed out you're gonna you're gonna say ah, I don't have time for it I just don't have time I, I, I thought I'd get this done in two days. It's, I, I don't have three days, three and a half days to monkey around on it. It is what it is. And that's what some people end up doing. Okay? It's, so, again, it just... What I, what I try to do is I try to give myself enough time for different projects. I try to think about it. And um, always try to give myself a little bit of extra because there's always... Trust me, any project that I happen to do, it always seems like it takes just a little longer than I think it's going to take. Don't, don't try to think, oh, two evenings I'll be done with this and, and then uh, think, oh my word, what have I done? I, I can't get it done. I'm going to just slop it all on there. I got to paint around everything. I don't have time to pull everything off in, in the bathroom. I don't have, because then I have to reinstall it all. Everything I pull off the walls, I have to reinstall. I, I, don't, I can't do that. But I'm telling you, to get the uh, best job, professional painters, what do you suppose they're going to do most of the time? They're going to they're going to do the best they can and uh, pull lots of stuff off the wall and and that sort of thing, and that's just how they do it and that's how they charge. So you're going to have to think about uh, all the different things that you end up having to do and just give yourself enough time and you'll be fine.